everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be getting my new hamster. So if you did not see the video where I posted Pickle, um, he passed away basically. Uh, you definitely should check it out just so that it makes more sense up until this point. So yeah. I was not expecting to get a hamster today, but yeah, I'm just, there's like been a lot of changes today. I was supposed to go to Kansas today, um, but like an hour into our drive, my grandma texted that she was sick, and so we decided not to go, and now on Wednesday, we are going to stay at a cabin and go to the hot springs, so I'll definitely be posting um, and uploading some of those or like a video on that sort of stuff but yeah um let's just start with all of this hamster stuff basically the rundown is we're gonna set up the cage and then wait for the hamster to arrive my sister is also getting a hamster um if you haven't watched um animals you have animals i have in real life definitely check that out because that makes um it like kind of leads up to this point as well so she's also getting a hamster, and I'm, like, they're the two hamsters. They are dwarf hamsters. I don't know what type of dwarf it is. It's not, like, a winter white or anything. There is a mom and then a baby, so I'm getting the baby and my sister is getting the mom. So, I'm very excited, so let's just begin, you guys. Alright, so this is just the pile of stuff that I have. Um for my hamster, so I'm gonna go through it and then set up the cage. So yeah, let's just begin. All right, so here's everything in here. It is just a ton of hamster stuff. So I'm actually gonna go to the other side so I can sort through this stuff. Let's begin. Alright, so I just finished cleaning it out. It is completely empty, as you can see. Um, so, I think I am going to start with the bedding that I got. So, okay, so the bedding I am using is the uh, KT Clean and Cozy bedding. I really like this one. It's really nice, and... It doesn't have any sort of smell, so that's good. But I'm just going to open this up and then start pouring it into the key. Oh my god. Guys, it, I, I don't know if I'm doing this right. It's tipping. So let's see if I'm going to... Okay, so I don't have a ton in here, but I think I'm just going to start with this and I'm going to start kind of breaking it apart because it's still kind of clumped up. So I want to kind of expand it as much as I can. I don't really know the health conditions of these hamsters, so if they suddenly just kind of get sick out of nowhere, then I think I know why, because um, of either where they came from, or like the lady who's taking care of them now. Uh, but yeah, I hope they're not sick, because that's just another hassle, and it's just going to be even more work for me and my sister. So, I'm hoping this goes smoothly, 
because it's not going to be fun if it doesn't. Alright, I think I've put enough in here, and I'm going to start uh, kind of ripping it apart like I did earlier, just to expand it more and get the full use out of it. Okay, so here we go. I think I'm going to add some more on this side so that the hamster can burrow. And yeah. Also, if I don't refer the hamster to a gender or like associate him with a gender, it's because I do not know the gender yet. Uh, of course, the mom is a mom. Um, but the baby, it's kind of hard to tell whether it is a boy or a girl. So we'll have to wait and see if there's any, like if we can check, I guess. But. Honestly, I'm happy with either because I really like hamsters. I just hope that neither of them are pregnant. Um, I'm pretty sure hamsters, like as soon as they have ba like a litter of babies, they can have like get pregnant again, which is quite crazy considering it usually takes an animal like at least a couple of months before they can like reproduce again but yeah okay I've used at least half of the bag as you can see so I think this is enough bedding um we've got a pretty much thicker more um bedding bedded area over here and then we've got less bedding over here just to run around and yeah so all right now let's start with the accessories for the page so um there again i like don't know a lot of the, about this baby um but according to the pictures that the lady sent us of the uh, two hamsters, they're living in like one of these cages, which is not good. I'm, I don't know what brand this is. Oh, it's Tiny Tails. It looked like they were living in that cage, which honestly, I don't really recommend, even though I'm like not a professional. I am not a professional at all. But it's just not good. Like, your hamsters aren't toys. They don't deserve to be in that small cage. Um, and they deserve to have a cage where they can just run around and, you know, do what they please. So I definitely want to have that for my hamster. So I'm going to continue putting in some things, and then I will show you the end result when I am finished. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I've got this hut right here, this kind of wooden wicker bendable tunnel thing, uh, this bridge, and then this little hut. And I thought I had more hamster stuff, and I can't seem to find it. I don't know where it went, or like what happened to it, so we'll have to see. But eventually I also want to add in a sand bath, um, and use the bottom of this little tiny tail cage. I want to use this big red piece uh, for a sand bath. But for now, I think... Until I get some children's sand, ch or children's play sand, I'll just, you know, use this sort of stuff. So, I'm looking what else I have. I have this wheel, which I need to reassemble, um, which I'm going to put on there. 
And then I've also got this bowl, but they are kind of dirty, so I'm gonna clean them again. And then, of course, I've got a, whoopsie, a water bottle here. Um, so, yeah, one of these water bottles was broke. There's, there's two of them, but I can't figure out which one of them is broken. So I'll have to figure that out before we get the hamsters. So, yeah, ah, I'm really nervous. Um, so I'm gonna go clean these, the wheel and the bowl out, and then I will be back to finish assembling the cage. And Guys, I just tried to walk into my bathroom, but the top of the cage is right there, so I'm gonna have to move that, and then I'm gonna have to get into my bathroom. But I just have this small little walkway right here, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished cleaning the bowl and the wheel, so I'm going to reassemble the wheel, stick that in there, and then put in the uh, bowl. And I don't think I'm going to add any food yet, just so that the hamster can kind of get used to its new surroundings and not be focused on eating. But, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this wheel. Okay, so I think I'm gonna also assemble this. It's like this little, um, actually, I don't know what to call it. Little playground hamster tunnel thingy. It's kind of confusing, but once I assemble it, I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, hang on. This is much harder than I thought. I assembled this once. But this is like my second time assembling it and it is kind of hard to assemble. Okay, so I finished it. This is what it looks like. It's just this little like playground hamster thing. But yeah, that's that. I don't think there's anything else I'm gonna put in there besides the water bottle. Um, yeah, so that's everything I think I'm going to use. I'm going to see what's in this bin. Oh, there's also this stuff. Uh, there's also this, like, hamster playground sort of things that I have, and I think I might build something out of these. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to build something, if it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't. I think... I don't know what I'm gonna make. Actually, I'm not gonna make anything. Because I've already got a lot going on. In the cage itself. So now I'm gonna stick on the top of the cage. And then... I'm gonna fill up the water bottle, and then I think the cage will be finished. And then we'll just have to wait until the hamster is here! I'm so excited. So, let's put on the top of the cage. Okay guys, so I just finished setting up the top of the cage, so now I am just going to take it and put it on top. And there's chicken wire on here, because this is a guinea pig cage, and so we put it on here so that the hamster can not escape. But it's very pokey and sharp and kind of annoying. So, this. And 
and I'm missing something actually, so I'm gonna quickly look for it. But I don't know where it went, you guys. Don't know where it went. Uh, maybe it's under here. So let me check. Oh, here it is. Okay, I found it. But yeah. We put chicken wire on it because my hamster, Pickle, when we first got him, he escaped out of this cage. So we had to add chicken wire on it. And it took forever to put the chicken wire on. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I am done putting that on. And so now I'm just gonna add these little clips to the sides so that the cage, or so that the top of the cage does not, um, like, get pulled off or anything. And it's gonna make sure, it's gonna make it super nice and secure. So I'm doing two clips on each side. Ooh. There we go. Okay. This is very tiring. position it back up against the wall. Now I need to fill up the water bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then that'll be the end of the cage setting up. And then I'll show you guys the hamster at five o'clock, which is in around two hours. So I'll see you guys when I get the hamster. Okay, so here's the baby. And I don't know if you can tell, but um, it is super small. Like, hi, dear little baby. But yeah, this is the cage that uh, it came in. It's scented bedding, and inside of it was all of this stuff. There is graham cracker, Cheerio, and a saltine cracker, and then just all of these, like, really bad things for hamsters. At least that's what I, you know, think. And as you guys can see, I switched uh, cages with my sister because the one that I have, it seems so small. Or, I mean, like, it would be super easy for this little guy to climb out. So me and my sister switched, but that's the baby. And then if we just go across, oh, hello, would you like to share your hamster? Is it zoomed in? No, it's not. Okay. So she has the mom. And as you can see, here's the cage. But I think she's in the, in the hut. Are you in the hut? Yeah, she likes the hut. <laughs> yeah. So let me get in here. Yeah, wait. I don't know if you guys can see her. But there she is. What she's if you so just cute. like drop your cap right there? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I'm just gonna put the hut back on. Here you go, honey. Watch out. We'll set it right there. She's in the But yeah. So that is just what they look like. Yeah. Also, if you guys have any name suggestions, let me know in the, in the comment section or on my Discord group. But yeah, I'm thinking of like Starlight or maybe squiggle uh but yeah if you guys have any name suggestions or if you know what type of breed uh my hamster is please let me know because it would be greatly appreciated but anyways bye guys